Hi, welcome back. I'm Kendra Dixon and I'm here at Goldbuckle Ranch. I want to talk now about keeping your horse bright through a turn. And this, uh, this came about while I was trying to explain a horse's attention span. They're just like us, guys. <laughs> They're going to get bored. They're going to be easily distracted, some more than others. And as, as good-hearted as they are, and they're trying to learn and pay attention, they still require some assistance from us. So this comes back to paying attention to the details, watching the little things. Um, it's almost like a light bulb in your house. Have you ever turned on the light switch and it flickers for a minute? The light's not really bright? Well, their attention span can flicker just like that faulty light bulb. And what I want you to do is pay attention and keep your horse bright through the turn. So when I track forward and I ask Nellie to look where she's going, you see how I shaped her nose through that turn? Beautiful, Nellie. I'm very happy with that shape. She was soft through the turn. I had very gently uh, picked up the inside rein and asked for her nose. So she's looking around the barrel. Her neck is soft and her shoulders and her hips are following where her nose is going. Let me show you an example of not bright. So it may have looked like that was a simple walk through the pattern, but it's really not. Hang on, Nellie, you got your ear too. Um, it requires more from us, more awareness, more paying attention to make, to execute a turn like that. If I just kind of go through the paces and I'm, I'm watching, but you know, I'm not just really paying attention to the details. Can you see the difference? Even though it's slight, it's a big deal. I'm gonna do it again. If we're just kind of going through the same, you see the error right there? Going through the same steps every day, but did you see how Nellie didn't start um, in the same track? She kind of veered over to the left a little bit. Guys, if you wanna make a consistent pattern, you've got to train consistently. And that gets back to right here what I said, tell them the same thing every day. I'm gonna back up, push my hands forward. When I come through, I'm gonna to talk to that rein enough and I'm gonna use my core muscles, whichever ones I need to keep that horse focused and shaped through the turn so that they can follow their nose through the turn. If they get dull, if you notice their neck kind of flattens out for a minute or they have that squirrel moment and they're like, what? <laughs> Butterfly. They, they don't uh, latch onto that barrel. That's your job to come back and just very gently remind them. I had a trainer explain to me one time, um, Dusty Talk. he's a, a good friend of ours and he and Diana live right down the street. And Dusty was here working a colt one day and I asked him to help explain hands to one of my students. And he said, Kendra, it's kind of like uh, carving a piece of wood. It's like whittling. Sometimes when you whittle on that rein, you're gonna take a bigger chunk, okay? You're gonna say the point, you're gonna set that horse in the ground calf horse style, but you can't stay pulled back. It's gotta be an effective maneuver and put your hands back. Other times, you're barely going to touch that ring. So you see how I had to watch my hands and watch her nose through the turn? See a whittle right there? Whittle, small whittle right there. You just wanna keep her focused. And in order to do that, you gotta pay attention to your horse. Don't just go through the routines. Don't just go through the steps because I tell you to. Get in there, pay attention to those four corners. Become a control freak. Pay attention to every single step your horse takes through that turn because what we train at a walk is going to show up at a run. So I hope that that helps you um, understand how to keep your horse bright, alert, attentive, and focused through the turn. It helps me a bunch here at the ranch and the most important thing is the next step, how to carry over into a run. I'll see you in the next segment.